Chris, let's have a look at the third adjustment for O'Connell 2021 exam paper for question five. And it says the period of credit given to debtors. So anytime you're looking at debtors, you're looking at your sales figure and you're looking at your debtors figure. And so we're going to do this to days. So we're going to multiply by 365. So the figures that we want is your debtors figure and your credit sales figure. So we know your debtors figures in the profit in the balance sheet. So if we go to our current assets, our credit debtors figure is seventy five thousand. We also need a credit credit sales figure, which is in a profit and loss account. So that's eight hundred fifty thousand. So now we have our figures that we need to put into this formula. So we're going to use our debtors figure of seventy five thousand. We're going to divide that then by our sales figure of eight hundred and fifty thousand. I'm going to multiply them by 365 to get the days. So we've got 0 0.08823. We're multiplying that then by 365 and we're going to get 32.21 days. So that's how many days we give our debtors before they pay their bills when the boys stop from us on credit. So remember, we have to include the days in here as our unit. Now I'm finding the days, so I'm going to multiply by 365 days. If I want to find months, I'll multiply by 12. And that's number three for O'Connell 2021, calculating the period of credit given to debtors in months or days. So debtors divided by credit sales, we identify our, day, our debtors figure, identify our credit sales figure, and then we can input it then into our formula and then multiply it by 365. So remember, these formulas are important, so I would write these formulas down. I would identify what the figures are for each one, so no matter what form you're doing, write the formula down, identify the figures, and then input the figures into the formula, and you'll never go wrong. Just remember, you have to have the correct units at the end. So for this one, it's days as compared to percentages or the euro sign.